Hi, I'm Nari Ansari, and in this video, we're going to talk about user interface or HUD or GUI part 2 of GUI design in Unreal Engine 5. So, without any further ado, let's begin. In the last video, we did talk about how you can create a widget and how you can add create it in your character blueprint class, for example, and add it to viewport. And you can see it, we did it in last video, okay? And we open up our widget, we add some text, but we add a text, we add a progress bar, we add a button in here, okay? If you click on any of them there are some options in here that i did collapse everything so if you click in here and collapse everything you can see it has a slot it has content appearances accessibility that some of them is common between all of them so in text we have a slot we have content we have, we have accessibility we have performance and in progress bar again if you collapse everything you can see we have a slot we have a style and we have accessibility we have appearance but uh, it has some other options as well for example this uh, progress bar have progress in it and this text it has appearance in it okay so let's see one by one what they are for example this text box we can change this anchor point in here so uh, for example the anchor point is at top left corner and we can change it to top middle top we can change it to top right corner when you change the anchor point you can see the position x and position y of our text is changing why because when you change the anchor point for example this time the anchor point is at top left corner so the zero and zero location for this text is here okay is the anchor point right so you can see if we put this text at 80 and 80 location in our widget in here and if we change the anchor point at top right corner now you can see that the position x is changed because the zero zero location of this uh, text is no at the top right corner okay so now let's just change change it back to top left corner again if you zoom a little bit in here zoom a little bit with middle mouse i'm zooming and in here there is an alignment let's just change the position of our text to zero and zero zero okay and you can see it it will align to the top left corner of our text in here so it will align it to the top left corner and if we change this alignment in here to for example to one and one now you can see it align itself with the anchor point at the bottom right corner right if you want to align it at middle center you can just put 0.5 and 0.5 in here so you know that the alignment value is a value between 0 and 1 if we want to align this align this text to its anchor point to the top center corner you can put 0.5 for x alignment and 0 for y alignment and you can see it will align itself to the top middle top middle of our text okay and let's just again change the anchor point to top middle you can see that it's it's now at the top middle let's just change the position of this so you can see it clearly and again position this uh, text to zero and zero and now you can see that our text is aligned at top center of our text right and i think you get the idea the next property is this size x and size y and this size is for this green rectangle in here and what this green rectangle is in here is just for uh, align aligning this text by and positioning this text in our scene right so for example let's just go to appearances in here let's just zoom a little bit in here in here we can change the color and opacity of our text for example let's just put it at yellow in here and you can see it changed its color and you can change the font of it you can change the size of it you can change the typeface of it it, it will be bold or italic or whatever right so let's just put it back to bold and you can change the font of course let's just change the size and you can see when we change the size of our text this green rectangle doesn't change its size if you want to change this um, green rectangle as when you change this text box to change itself you can check this size to content okay now you can see it align itself with top center and it works fine right i know you all know about this changing font and everything i don't want to talk about it more because it's easy right so it you can add shadow to or your text you can offset that shadow you can do whatever you do in for example photoshop or uh, word you can do it in here it's just a text right 
so let's just collapse this. The next property that I want to talk about is the Z order. So for example, we have this progress bar. If we put it on our text box, you can see this progress bar because it's creating after this text, it's above our text. So we can see our text clearly. So if we change the alignment in here, you can see that no, the text is above our progress bar in here, okay? But there is other option to do something like this. For example, this text, if it's selected, you can see the Z order is zero. And this progress bar, the Z order, let me find it. The Z order is zero as well. So if we change the Z order, to, for example, to one, now you can see that uh, although the progress bar is at the top of this text, because we change the Z order, it will draw at the top of our text box. So you can use this Z order to tell Unreal Engine which one to draw first. The next option that I want to talk about is this content. So for example, this text in here, you can change the text. For example, let's just say health, okay? And it will change itself to health, okay? That was it for this content. We did talk about appearances. We can change color, you can change font and all of that. There is uh, there is some other option that I will talk about it more in future videos, but I think that's enough for this video. I don't want to make my videos too long. In the next video, we, did, we will talk about how you can use blueprint of this a widget class to set for example the text for changing this uh, percentage of this progress bar so you can see if you click on this uh, progress bar in here there is a, a category in here that called process and if you change the percentage of this you can change the appearances of this progress bar and you can see it, it it's a value from zero to one and you can see how it affects our game right and let's just compile and run our game once and you can see it's it's okay right so let us again play it increase the size of the game and you can see the help stay at the, the top middle center and the progress bar stay at the relative location and you can see it how it worked right like i said in the next video i will talk about blueprint of this widget class and we'll talk about more details about gui and ui stuff in unreal engine 5 so please hit that subscribe button and if you like this kind of video please hit that like button as well thank you very much for watching bye